to the next episode of Deep Hands with Deep. I am Deep Ma Osterman. I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. I am at Victorio's, the top restaurant in Amityville for sure, but potentially on Long Island. And we're gonna do a little bit of the tasting of the best wines that Victoria has on offer. And Teresa is gonna help me. She's the bartender. And we're gonna do two Chardonnays right here at the bar. Is that right? Yes. Teresa, how, how long have you been working here? Five years. Excellent, let's do this. We're gonna start off with what is your house Chardonnay, right? Yes. So this is the Du Soil. This is a 2020 from Lodi, California. Let's try this baby out. One for you, one for me. All right, what do we see? Color, it's a pale lemon. Looking good, huh? Let's give it a sniffy sniff. What do you smell, Teresa? At least two fruits, I wanna get two fruits out of you. What is it? Lemon is right, for sure. Big time lemon in here. What else? Peach? Yeah, maybe. I, don't know. I have a lime also. I have a lime. All right, let's give it a whirl. Balanced. Full body Chardonnay. It's delicious. A little bit oaky, huh? Fruity, oaky. What else do you see in it? Uh, it's creamy. Creamy, yeah. A little bit of creamy. So you like this one? Yes. All right. Let's see whether the cake bread scores higher. All right. We're going to pour this away. Next contestant is the cake bread Chardonnay. That's obviously a 2020 Napa Valley product. Oh, I'm gonna pour myself first, sorry. You washed out your glass. All right, color wise, similar. Maybe a little lighter. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Ooh. More oak. Yes. But what do you what do you smell in terms of fruits? Apple. Apple? Yeah, I have an apple in here too. What else? A lime. Oh, yeah. Lamb, it's a fresh lime. Yeah. Not too shabby. Let's give it a whirl. Pleasant. A little bit of a bite to it. Yeah. Acidity it's bite. It's a little crisp. Very crisp. So, out of those two, which one do you like better? Do sorrel or cake bread? I think this one. I think so too, and that's your house shot on me. Do sorrel wins 2020, ladies and gentlemen. When you come get to Victorious, it should be tonight. Drink a glass of the du sorrel before you start your dinner. Now we are moving into the dining room. Thank you very much for your assistance in the show. Hello, we are here in the beautiful restaurant of Victorio's. This is the restaurant with about, I'd say, 15 tables. And we did the Chardonnay tasting at the bar. We are doing the Cabernet tasting right here in the beautiful restaurant. And for that occasion, I'm gonna introduce Leonardo. He is the manager and head waiter. Leonardo, there you are. Hello, how are you? Okay, so Leonardo has been 
with me forever since forever. I come to this long, restaurant. Long time, long time. My favorite restaurant in Amityville. It's a great restaurant. What do you think you guys are so good at and what are you standing for? I'm, I'm, I'm steaks. We're in Italian steakhouse. Steaks. It's an Italian steakhouse. Steak it's but a great place. But we try a little bit of everything. We can tell you about our pasta. The garganelli is one of the oh best. Oh my God, right? the pasta is unbelievable. The also, also the seafood. The seafood, the fish of the day. Every day, feed new fish. Yeah, you cannot be disappointed when and you come here. And what about the here. chorizo mussels? Oh my God, chorizo mussels. It's favorite. a must. It's a must. It's a must. Yeah. Together with the octopus and the tuna. Oh, the right? octopus is great too. Okay, but with the steaks. We do typically a Cabernet. So for the occasion, we have selected here 2019 Honig from Napa Valley. We're going to taste that against one of my all-time favorite, right? The Arkenstone. We put on the wine list because the Arkenstone. I just recently went to Napa Valley and visited this vineyard. I tried to convince him to sell more, more, and more, and cheaper to Victorials. So let's try to get that started. <laughs> Honig first, Leonardo. Let's see what we see. Okay. So color-wise, Leo, pretty deep, huh? Yeah. Like a. It's a ruby red. Yeah. It's a little bit you can see when you look from the top the uh, stem. So, so like a medium, uh, medium, plus, medium, medium plus, medium plus, yeah. yeah, medium plus body. Yeah. All right, let's give it a sniffy sniff. What do you have on the nose? Berry, leather. What berry though? I have a berry too. I think there's a blackberry in here. Blackberry, right? But it could be red and blackberries. Yeah, you're right. Possibly a raspberry you as well. smell a little bit of like the leather too. Yep, leather. there's some leather in here. So those are texture notes. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Mm. Honig is always good. It's a full body wine. Definitely. Medium acidity. Yeah. Medium minus in the tannins. Yeah. High alcohol. Nice finish. Very nice finish. Yeah. And it's not too expensive, right? How much do you charge for that only? Uh, $80. $80, ladies and gentlemen. Good wine. I give it a 4.2. 4.2. Arkenstone. NBD. It stands for Napa Valley something. It's a blend from several of the vineyards they own in the Napa Valley. It's not just from the head vineyard that is at the store, at the, at the truck. Let's try this. Okay. Arkansas, color-wise. Definitely a full body here. Deeper wine, deeper color. You can almost not see the stem anymore. I would say this is a dark, deep ruby. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Aromas, pronounced aromas. Blackberry, what else do you have on the nose? Chocolate, too, yeah, no? chocolate, yes, I do have that too. I'm looking here at the year, it's a 2017. So this wine, from the uh, aromas here, from the tannin structure, it, it, it smells like it has another five, 10 years to go. It's a beautiful wine. Let's give it a whirl. So balanced. They are oh, yeah. so balanced. The red fruit, the black fruit in harmony with the alcohol and the acidity in balance. Smooth, right? Very smooth. Yeah. And potentially, you know, each wise, I would say five to ten more years. Whereas, you know, as good as the Honig is, but I think that's probably a wine for the next two, three years. So, how much do you charge for the Arkansas? $150. $150, but it's a beautiful wine, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful wine. I would say 
4.5 wins the competition, the Arkenstone. Both of them excellent wines to go along with your steak. And Leos, thank you so much for joining this show. And ladies and gentlemen, if you like this show, press the button right here, like it, subscribe to my channel. And every Sunday, I'll be back on the show. But also, don't forget to pay Leo and Victorio's a visit. It's my number one favorite restaurant on Long Island. Thank you.